Are you wondering how accurate is the SPO2 reading in your Amazfit GTR3 watch? If yes, then I am going to compare the SPO2 reading of GTR3 with an oximeter in this video. First, I will put the oximeter on the middle finger of the right hand as you get the most accurate data from this particular finger. Now, I am going to initiate the SPO2 on the watch as well as the oximeter at the same time. As you can see, the results are pretty close to the reading on the oximeter. For the next test, I will compare GTR3 with Garmin 245 Music. I found SPO2 tracking to be quite accurate on Garmin, so let's test GTR3 with Garmin 245M to see how well it fares against it. Once again, as you can see, the result on the Amazfit GTR3 is pretty good. Still, I am going to trust the Garmin 245 Music's reading here as it is pretty decent. However, I won't recommend using the numbers on the watch as a medical report for diagnosis as they aren't made for that. So that was it for today. If you found this video useful, then make sure to click on the like and subscribe button. I've uploaded various GTR3 accuracy test videos on our channel, so do check them out.